player, Dustin Klein, Portland, Oregon. Today we're going to meet up with Chris San Augustine, the creative force behind Cycling Culture Magazine, Broken and Coastal. He's going to go through his current adventure rig with us, which is really well put together and quite the interesting rig. Shall we? All right, Dustin, this is my 2004 Sienna. It's all wheel drive and it's the very first car that I've ever purchased. Why a minivan? I really wanted a truck, but my very good friend and mentor, Michael Keep, he just really convinced me that a van or a minivan fit my lifestyle better. You know, as far as like throwing a bunch of gear into it and camping and going on road trips for mountain bikes and all that. Having a vehicle where I could just all be self-contained just made a lot more sense. I definitely struggled with like wanting that like truck look and like going off road and things like that. And the Sienna kind of brought that all together. Are you glad that you went minivan? The day I bought it, I immediately knew that I made the right decision. After picking up the van, we drove up like this extinct uh, volcanic cylinder that was like off-road and super crazy and the all-wheel drive just kind of kicked in and crawled up. And I just like opened up the doors and like threw my sleeping bag down and I was like, this is this is the life now. I don't have to like set up a tent. It's freaking amazing. What have you done to it? <laughs> so the very first thing I did was put on all-terrain tires. I got the BF good rich KO2s, mainly just because I wanted something bulletproof that I could take off road and not have to worry about. And they just look cool. They do look good. Yeah. After I got the wheels on, I had my good buddy Paul LaCava build a floor because I knew I didn't really need it to carry passengers. I just took the seats out and I just wanted like a nice platform for sleeping and just throwing gear back in the van. After a ride, you know, people want beers and stuff like that. I wanted to have cold, seltzer water all the time. Cool. So I bought a 12 volt electric fridge, which is powered by a Goal Zero 1500X. Pretty big one and it can run the fridge for about two and a half weeks, three weeks without having to recharge the battery. So I don't have the battery hooked up to like solar or anything that every couple weeks I just bring it inside and charge it and then kind of good. So yeah, it charges my laptops and all that kind of stuff too. What other modifications have you made that you've been pretty pretty glad that you've done? Uh, the big one would be the Lolo Rack. Lolo Rack is based in Portland, Oregon, and they make a swing out and a vertical bike rack mount, which holds a bunch of different kinds of bikes. It holds my trail tools. Yeah, I didn't really think I was going to use it that much, actually, because I was like, oh, I have a van. I'll just throw the, the bike in the back. Being able just to pick up the bike and throw it on the hook and be done is like a game changer. In a pinch, uh, like today, where I have multiple bikes, I throw one bike in the van and I go ride the other one and we're good to go. Made some simple window coverings with Reflectix. I just trace the windows and easy. Keeps the temperature down and stops visibility. Yep. Brilliant. And I noticed you use a cargo box. What do you think, you like it? Yeah, that was one of the first things I purchased was a cargo box, mainly because um, I'm just hauling a bunch of gear on road trips and stuff, so firewood, tools, extra mountain bike shoes and tires, all that stuff just goes up top and it just kind of keeps the inside of the van super clean. What's the mindset for the back area? The mindset is, is for it to be flexible and easy to camp. Like I want to be able to just load up a few bags and then throw in the mattress and go camping. So I don't have the mattress in here now to show you, but it's very simple to set up. It's literally just fold it out and you're sleeping. And it covers this whole space. Mm -hmm. cool. And it only, when it folds, it's only like this. So. I like this little secret spot. Yeah, so Paul designed this. He's very stoked on it. So yeah, here it is. This so, is huge. Yeah, so here's the battery. Um, I just drilled these holes yesterday, so everything's gonna be routed through here. And then this is eventually gonna be hooked up to my car battery. So there'll be a cable that's gonna route all the way through under the hood and it'll be able to charge this thing while I'm driving. And then I have my laptop, coffee, and this is just kind of miscellaneous for now. Always have a pump? Yes. One of the huge problems with this van is I had no way to tie anything down. So oh. I'll go on road trips and shit would just be flying everywhere. Just the other day I installed a bunch of these like little L-Link um, brackets Seems like they're gonna work out pretty good. Yeah, I'm definitely always trying to figure out a way to optimize it, but it's, I feel like the van is 
pretty close to being done and it's just about finding ways to control storage. Where do things go when we're on a, a week long road trip? Is there anything that you would want to change about your current setup? I think the setup right now is dialed. Um, cool. There's not much I think I would change. I would be interested to see what it would be like if the floor was higher and there was like storage coming out. Interesting. But I also, then you're losing roof space. So I, I don't, I think, I think I'm there, man. I think I'm pretty happy. You got this cool storage thing on the ceiling. This is really smart. Yeah, this is brand new. It's so cool. Yeah, so this is a, a new little storage roof container thing made by this company, Blue Ridge. It's for like a Toyota, I don't know, some fancy Toyota truck or something, but it works in the Sienna and it's dialed. Helmets, towels, jackets, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm really stoked on this. This is, this is brand new. So a lot of the times I'm carrying a duffel bag with gear and dirty shoes and, and whatever, right? And so like just having this nice space here where I can just like throw it and not have to worry about getting dirt everywhere. It's like a big boot tray. And then I added on these little rings. So I'm thinking when we travel, we can put like our suitcases here and then tie them down so they're not flying around. And then does the, does this thing roll out? Does your fridge? Yeah, it's I'll on show it? you. It's uh, just a fridge, but you can set it to be a freezer if you want it. Oh, is it a little light? Yeah, cool. Yeah, 400 bucks. Wow, really? Yeah. Your rig is so clean, much respect. Basically what I was looking for was getting a vehicle under $8,000, something that I could camp in, take off road, go on road trips, go mountain biking, $5,900, and it came with 120,000 miles. Cool. So you can find all wheel drive models anywhere from about 5,500 to 10,000 that are like in good condition in that kind of 120, 130, 140,000 miles. And these things will go for forever. So as long as you're buying it from someone that's like taking care of it and doesn't look like a meth head slept on it or something, like you're dialed. Kind of like a really awesome, affordable option for people. And then like you add like the beefy tires and the lift kit and you're like, man, you're turning heads like wherever you go, like straight up. And it kind of just like fits my character of like just doing my own thing, right? Like, you know, and the van shreds like it's an all wheel drive Toyota Sienna. Like they're excellent vehicles. <laughs> Shout out to Chris for making this happen. Check out Broken and Coastal. I'll put a link down below. And let me know what you think of Chris's rig. Anything you would add, subtract, love it, hate it. If there's anything you like here, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, now might be the time. And check out the EBD Gear Shop, the greatest place on the internet. Until next time, dear friend, this is Dustin Klein, signing off.